Hi guys, welcome to Teacher Tech, and today we're going to be going over how to be able to push out a fillable guided notes to your students. So, a couple things that we're going to talk about first. Uh, so, in a previous video, we did make this genetics using Punnett Square's guided notes, fillable Google Doc. And if you don't know uh, exactly how to make that, you can go back and watch that video. I'll have the link in the description. And uh, let's get straight into it. So, with today, we are going to be showing you guys how to take this document here and push it out to your students. So the first step I have is just through email. So let's just pretend that you don't have a Google Classroom set up, you don't have Schoology, you don't have anything. And the best way to really send this out then would be to your student emails. Now this could become a little bit more tiresome because you would have to generate the entire population of your students' emails to send it out but this is a basic way to do it without going through the steps of how to make a Google Classroom or using Schoology or some other type of education program. So um, just wanted to show you guys how this is gonna work. So if this is your original document right here and you're afraid students are gonna be able to edit and stuff, we're gonna go up here and copy the URL link to this. We are then going to paste that in the description down below. Now I hit Command V because I'm using a Mac, but for those of you who don't know how to paste, it's two finger click, paste. Now, as you can see in here, we have a couple of things where right here it says edit. We're going to want to change that. Now you can go through this way of editing the link here and changing it, but it's actually easier to do that from the main page here. So what this looks like is right now by having the word edit here, that means everyone is currently allowed to edit this document, which is cool, but the problem is this is your main document. So if you gave this to your students and one student started to fill it out, everyone else would be able to see it. So what you do is you delete the edit part of the URL and change it to copy. And then you will two finger click, right finger click if you're using a mouse, and copy. What this ends up doing is forcing it to make a copy. So let's show what this looks like. So when we open up a new URL page and you hit paste, which would be just like clicking on this to go, as soon as it sends, this is now what your students will see when they click on that link. Would you like to make a copy of the Genetics Planet Squares Guided Notes digital? They would hit the blue, make a copy, and it's going to generate their very own copy of the worksheet. In the previous video, I talked about how students would, could then go up here and change this to have their name in it. So same thing, instead of it being copy of, I can call this Coleman copy or just Coleman genetics. Then I could just share it with my teacher, which would be Mr. Coleman, but I don't have a Mr. Coleman Gmail set up, so that wouldn't make any sense. But just to show you how that would work from the student end, it's only a two-step process, and it really helps eliminate the students having to get this document, have this be view only, have them have to hit file, make a copy, and then do everything that I just showed you. It kind of eliminates those steps, it eliminates those confusions, and it really does help those students. So now that we have this copied link, if we go to an email and we just paste the link in, now we're able to kind of give them directions and stuff via email. Like, hey guys, use this link to you know get to the worksheet, make sure you make a copy, and go through the steps I just explained, making sure that last name's in the upper section of the doc and please make sure you share it with me and I always include my email for those students who might have a hard time spelling your name or you know those students that you've had for a half a year who still don't know who your last name or what your last name is. And I mean as teachers we get all those types of crazy things that end up happening and you know they're things to laugh at. So um, to continue on instead of going through email another option is Google Classroom. Uh, Google Classroom is a free platform that um, actually works really well with a lot of the documents that you can make in Google because it's Google to Google. It makes perfect sense. 
So here's an example of my example class currently underneath the classwork tab. So if I want to create an assignment, I hit create assignment. Now it's going to go through and try to walk you through these things, which is great um, for that sake. I'm not going to go through everything because it'll go through it with you. But essentially, we can add an assignment or create an assignment literally right here from the classroom. For today's purposes, since we already have our document done, we are just going to be adding the assignment. So let's call this title Genetics on it. squares worksheet or actually I'll call it guided notes once again if you want to go through and add instructions you can um, for this point of this video I'm not going to sit here and type out the instructions because I'm not actually assigning this to my students and then you would hit add now here's two things if you already have it copied from the email sending, you could just hit the link button. But for the sake of being able to search things and to show that in a video, I'm going to click on Google Drive. So what this does is it shows me my recent activities and worksheets that I've made. So if you click Genetics Plant Squares and hit Add, it's now added those guided notes digital right there. Now this allows the student to view the file, but you can actually click make a copy for each student and it'll generate a copy for each student, which eliminates that process then of them having to continue to share it and do those things with you because when they make this copy, it automatically is going to show it to you in your Google Drive, which is awesome. It helps eliminate a couple extra processes and steps. I plan on making a quick how-to video of how to make a Google Classroom. So we'll see how that all pans out here in a little bit in the future, depending on how much time I have today. Maybe I'll make another one. But um, the other way I would like to show is through Schoology. Now, Schoology was temporarily unavailable earlier, so let's hope that it is still working, and it is not. So I will uh, wait until Schoology is currently back up and running to shoot that part of this video and clip it in and edit it on my end. And I just want to let you guys know that once this is up and running, I will add the, this portion of the video to the current video on YouTube. So you can pay attention to that. And um, one thing I did forget to say at the end of the last video is if you guys need anything as far as you want me to show a breakdown of something or you're confused on something, please feel free to write it in the comments down below. Um, I'm kind of just going off of what I think people might benefit from at this point. And if you can just take a moment, write something down or write an idea that you had, and I can try to help make a video towards that. Um, I mean, we're here to help each other. Um, I'm trying to just do this as much as I can to help as many people as I can. And if I get 100 views, I really don't care. If I get 1,000 views, I don't care. I'm just here to help educators and to try to make students' lives less stressful. So um, that is going to conclude it for today's video. I am Brian, and this is Teacher Tech, and thanks for viewing.